But right now, we're joined by our dumping ground superstar guest. It's Kia Pegg who plays Jodie! And Kia, you are joined by Tanya, your biggest super fan. Hi, Tanya. Hi. Oh, so Tanya, you've got a question for Kia, haven't you? Yes. Let's hear it. What's it like filming the dumping ground? Oh, it's the most fun. It's like you go to work every day with like your best friends. It's just, just fun. This year it snowed almost every day. So it was a lot of snow, but a lot, a lot of good times. What a good answer there. So guys, we have got a game for you both to play now and it's called First Ever Seen. Very creative. Um, so we're going to show you the first ever scene that Jodie was in of the dumping ground and you've got to pay, be paying attention because we're going to ask you some questions about it, okay? Roll the clip. Yeah, well, yep. I told you my metal detector wasn't worse than money. What is it? Oh. Why? What's it found? We do. We couldn't open it. Well, I'm off. Let me go! Yeah. No, don't worry about that. Read them and weep. Now, no loud music, no kitchen experiments, and don't wind up the relief care worker, please. As if we would do something like that. <laughs> Caribbean queen. <laughs> now we share the same dream. Caribbean queen. I hope you're watching closely. Let's cue that suspenseful music, please. Right, first question is for you, Tanya. What colour dressing gown was Jodie wearing? Was it purple, yellow, or red? Purple. Is the correct answer! Well done, Tanya. Okay, Kia, what was Mike wearing? Was he wearing a hoodie, a Hawaiian shirt, or a smart shirt and tie? Oh, I think it was a Hawaiian shirt. Of course, it was a Hawaiian shirt. He has so mm -hmm. many of them. Uh, and we are celebrating Dumping Ground Week with our super fan here. It's Josh Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. Josh, are you enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. Good. Now, listen, earlier on we met Josh and we found Josh's BFF from the dumping ground and it turned out to be Candy Rose. So we thought, how could it be if we could get her, you know, on the line, on the phone? We called her up and here she is, it's Karma! Great! Hi, Hiya! Hello! Thank you. Hi! Josh, we pulled through, we got Karma on. So you've introduced yourself. This is lovely. Karma, it's nice to have you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Love the backdrop. Look how nice that shed is, huh? It's uh, a lovely shed. Now, come on, we, uh, we want to do a little thing with you and we call it First Ever Seen. We're going to look back at the first time you ever appeared in the dumping ground. How does that sound? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's go, she's ready. All right, look, she was so young. Look at it. I don't get it. No, of course you don't. You're a boy. Oh, I see. You're being sexist. Never worked dragging a BF along shopping. Oh, no, he's my brother. He's, um, looking after me. Why don't you ditch him, Ben? Oi, just taking your sis to pick out some knickers. Do you want to come with us? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knickers. You said knickers. As far as first scenes go, Karma, I think you smashed it. You came out strong. It was really... What did you think of that outfit when you wore it? Yeah, the outfit was a statement. Mm. The whole cohort, mm. all pink. It was a look. Proper. Yeah, you're right, it was a state. It was. <laughs> Stop it! That's not what she meant. Now, listen, we've got some questions on that scene, Karma. So here's the first one. What did you have in your hair? Was it A, a jar of meat paste? Mm. Was it B, a big pink bow? Or was it C, mm. knits? A big pink bow. <laughs> you're right. right, covering the knits. Yep. This... <laughs> Well, live, her hair is very clean. Get out of here. Now, this um, question's for you, Josh. Go on, Reese. All right, Josh. What did Candy Rose say that she was taking Chloe to pick out? Was it A, a natty Hawaiian shirt like mine? Yep. Was it B, some hideous dungarees like Reese wears? Offensive. Or was it C, some knickers? C, knickers. <gasps> Reese, is he allowed to say knickers on telly? I don't know, but he just did. Can you say that? Josh, you outlaw. It's a knickers on See, I think we've I think we've said it enough times now. Uh, that is cool. Enough questions from us though for Karma. Josh, you're a super fan. Have you got a question for Karma? Go on. What is your what is the funniest moment? My funniest moment was when I was on set and I just started and I didn't realise that everything was fake and wasn't properly glued down to the floor. So I leant on one of the fake walls and it fell over. Yeah. 
<laughs> Brilliant. What a great first impression to and make. Mike Milligan has never been the same. All in pink, just destroying the set. <laughs> like a pink Godzilla. That is great. Right now, it is time that we are joined by our superstar dumping ground guest. It's Jasmine who plays Taz. Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. And you are also joined by Tino, who is a dumping ground superstar. Tino. Fan. Superstar fan. Superstar <laughs> DJ. Tino, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask Jasmine? Oh, yeah, go for it. Yes. Okay, go for it. My first question for you, Jasmine, is what was your childhood like in the dumping ground? Oh, it was definitely, you know, less busy than it is now. But, you know, it was really fun getting to meet so many new people and learn so many different things. Oh, mm -hmm. I bet. And it never ends. This is amazing. Lots learning there. I know. Brilliant. <laughs> Tino, do you want to ask another one? Tino, do it. My second question is, what made you join the dumping ground? Well, you know, I watched the show from such a young age and when the auditions came out, you know, I was so excited and I was, you know, really ready to sort of try and get into the show. Yes, Jazz, that's a spirit. That's what you've got to do. We've got some more questions as well. Yes, oh, yeah. I've got one for you, Jasmine. Yes. This is from Rhea. What was the hardest scene that you've had to film? The hardest scene? Oh, probably um, a lot of the scenes from the wedding because there were so many people on set at the time and the scenes were, like, really long. So, yeah. I yeah, bet. I bet. And this one, brilliant dumping ground questions there, Jazz, uh, from Rainbow Beauty 201. What's your favourite sandwich? Ooh, favourite sandwich? Probably tuna ones. Ooh, tuna. <laughs> what, what about yourself, Tina? What was your favourite sandwich? I'll probably say cheese. Jeez! All right, so are we talking no peanut butter brown sauce? Just asking no. for a friend. No, nothing no. else. Jasmine, what's that face? All right, fair enough. Oh, no, it's almost time. Brand new, the dumping ground is nearly upon us. And to talk about that momentous occasion, it's only one of its stars. Cole, are you there? Hello, Cole and Lexi, the CBBC Hello. superfan. Yeah. Cole, it's great to see you, and it's great to see you too, Lexi. Now, Cole, I want to know first, as one of the stars of the show, how are you feeling about the new series? Very excited to watch it because I had a lot of fun filming it and there's a lot of twists in the storylines. Oh, we love a twist and Cole hasn't even seen it yet, so we're all in the same boat. No. Uh, now, Cole, we don't want to embarrass you too much, but you've been on the dumping ground a little while now and we thought we could play a game with showing one of your first ever scenes. So we're going to ask you some questions off the back of it. Oh. Make sure you're both watching closely. Let's take a look at the clip. It's your first scene. You're in here. This few bits and pieces are okay for you. I know you didn't get much of a time to pack. I'll see you in the morning. Sleep well. What side was in here last? That was your first ever scene. How'd you feel watching that again? It's so, so long ago, jeez. It's a long time ago, isn't it? And Mike Milligan was there, <laughs> being old Mikey. <laughs> now we're going to ask you some questions about that clip now, and I've got your first question. This quick question is for you, Lexi. Ahem. What colour is the bedroom? Is it pink and purple, blue and yellow, or orange and red? Pink and purple. Correct! And Yay! I've got a question now for you, Cole. What, what was Bird wearing on his head? Is it a straw hat, headphones, or devil horns? Headphones, you never take some off. Correct! <laughs> so you both win, which renders the whole game a waste of time. Brilliant! That's all we like here on CBBC. Now, Cole, I've got all sorts of questions for you, but it's not about me, it's about our super fan, Lexi. So, Lexi, fire away with your quizzy. Question. Who are you closest with in the cast? Um, we're all one big family, but it would have to be Sarah who plays Floss because we used to travel in and from work together, so we just spend the most time together. Travelling! Fantastic. We had Sarah on the show earlier this week. She's lovely, and we've had loads of questions for you, Cole. So Great, will you read one out? Yeah, I will do, actually, yeah. This one comes in from Grace, who says, How many times do you have to practice your lines? Oh, yeah. oh a lot. <laughs> It, but it depends on the size of the scene. It could be a massive scene and you have to practice loads, or it could be a little scene and not as much practice is needed, but you always have to go over your lines a couple of times. Absolutely. Well, I'm great at that. I never forget my... Um... Your, your lines? Hmm? 
Okay. And as it's Dumping Ground Week, we are joined by Dumping Ground superfan, Kaylin. Hello, Kaylin. <laughs> and as a special treat now, we're going to bring on to the screen a very special guest. It's Sarah, who plays Floss. And you play Sarah, who plays Floss. In the Dumping Ground, it's Floss, a.k.a. Sarah. <laughs> You're right, Sarah. Hi. Lovely to see you now. What have you been up to? Eh, uh, nothing really. <laughs> Great chat! Yeah. But let's plow on, because Caitlin's with us, and Caitlin is your biggest fan. Say hello to Sarah, Caitlin. Hello. Have Hi. you got any questions you'd like to ask Sarah? Uh, if you weren't the character that you are in the Dumping Ground, who would you be? Yeah. Um, I think Judy, because Floss and Jodie are very similar, but also very different. And I'd love to see that, like, other side and how it would be. Yes, the Kia Peg side of things. Oh, yeah. We now, I like think we've got time that. for another question, Caitlin. Have you got one up your... Well, you don't have a sleeve, but have you got a question? Who are you closest with in the past? I'm interested in this, yeah. Um, I'd say we're all very close. But I think especially with Kia, who plays Jodie. But we all are, like, a big family. Good old Kia Peg. We do love The nation's sweetheart. Absolutely.